and gentlemen, this is uh, MB again. We will talk about another Python topic today, that is uh, how to handle files or read and write to files. One of the major things that uh, you do uh, as a programmer or a data analyst or in your day-to-day -day activity as a developer is handling files. A read to files, write to files, you know, things of that sort. So let's uh, open your favorite directory, whatever directory that you want create a temp.py there temporary python file that's what it means nothing fancy right uh, yes reload okay so i saved it here so what i'm going to do here i will create a python file for you open mb.txt uh, just a regular file f5 what happened it created a blank text file here so what is this uh, this you already know that it's the name of the file so what is this w and how many types of such modes are there w means write mode now w write then r for read x for create and write to a new file a for append r plus for read and write to same file right so now what uh, we will do here is import os why do we need it well you will know i just want to add a little bit more for you here get cwd that is get current working directory right so in the current working directory we will just go ahead and you know create some stuff open uh, cwd plus some file dot txt comma w so what happens is it creates a text file some file dot txt all right excellent let's uh, do the same thing yeah copy paste instead of this now i'll do the same thing but here i will go this route this is the actual way you're supposed to do dot format i will say here if you have not uh, if you have forgotten my variables uh, topic and how to use variables inside a string please go through it this is how you're supposed to do this works as well but this is how you're supposed to do then okay i will press f5 that will execute it some file one dot txt excellent now let's uh remove this or i will keep it i will just rename it as b b dot txt right i will uh, show you what's the difference between um you know append and write f dot write i will say ambi just simple stuff right so it creates b dot text there and what is there nothing there should be something okay i think let's see what happens now i will just reload it it will say reload okay ambi uh, it's inside a virtual machine, so that's why probably you are seeing a bit of delay there. Uh, apart from that, if you're doing it on your desktop or laptop, it should be accurate. So ambi, right? But if I press F5 again, right, I press 10, 20 times, you will see that I'll just reload it. There's just one ambi. So what, what the hell is happening? I'm writing it like I'm opening that in write mode. I'm writing ambi so many times but it's writing only once so when you say write uh, it sees whether the file is there and it writes to it that means it erases the slate clean and then writes it that's why we have append mode so you want to uh, you know do append so once you write or create that file you go for a mode right and then what i will do here is I will, I can write as many times as I want and press F5, right? Again, it uh, initially it wipes the slate clean 
and then uh, uh, it reopens it in a pen mode and writes ambi four times let's see what happens there uh, i will just reload this guy here okay it's not reloaded properly close it okay let me all right that should do it well mb four times but still not good enough i mean as you can see there's uh, no space here i wanted to write it in a new line all you got to do for that is go here f dot write go like this and write so what the hell does that mean? That means you want to you want to write in a new line, right? I will press like this as many times as I want. As you can see, I said new line here and it wrote a new line, new blank line. So that is how you go ahead you know, and uh, write to a file. Let's say you want to add um, uh, a space next to that uh, or I know uh, uh, a space before that here uh, like this would still work right so it will still work however you make sure you always close once you are done uh, doing whatever that you wanted to do with that file you can again open that in read mode right so let's go ahead you know, and do that once uh f dot read right is that right and i'm gonna say enclose that inside a print statement so i want to print right not readable why because i have not opened that in read mode right so i will do that again so i will say r right so now it should do the trick as you can see that is what we have right so thank you for tuning in sharing is caring you have a great one bye bye